What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing out there? Well, today is what? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Early Wednesday morning. Six o'clock in the morning, Wednesday morning. But here we go again. Here we go again with Love by Erica going on about, you know, her baby daddies. Mr. Cryer, Mr. Mucker. She's going on about it again. And a lot of people in her comments, you know, they drop their little comments and, and they over there on IG dropping comments as well, telling her don't worry about it. You know, let them have it. Karma come back and get them. And how... You know, I see, and, and, and this what gets me, this what bother me the most. You know, when people, supporters, say, what was, what, what, I mean, what, what, you know, they be like, you don't have to explain yourself. Uh, 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 don't worry about it. I don't understand why would someone say that. What don't need to be explained shouldn't have to be explained. This is what YouTube is about. You coming out here venting. You coming out here telling your side, your truth. Y'all feel where I'm coming from? And a, and a lot of those ladies over there telling her, girl, you're a good mother. And, and that could be true too. I'm not knocking that. I'm not taking that from her at all, okay? But what I'm saying is, she coming out here and she venting. She's expressing her feelings to her supporters. And then supporters come back and tell her, you know, don't talk about it. Go on with your life. How can you? You got to put yourself not just in her shoes, but in the situation of where you may have done went through some things like that. Or somebody in your family or someone in your circle, I'm going to put it like that, may have went through some things like that. And you supported them. I'm pretty sure... You, you you may have said, don't worry about it. You know, it is what it is. No, it's not is what it is. Because it's a situation that needs to be handled. It needs to be dealt with. And like I said, I blame Erica. I, I blame Erica for Mr. Uh, Mucker Ricana not seeing that little boy. I point the finger at her. Due to the fact that she's the mother, she had control. And she had all the willpower. All to say so, you know. And the man was like, "You, some men's not gonna be um, gonna go through that with a woman." They were like, "Okay, it is what it is. I'm gonna let her have that, you know." And then some men be like, mm -mm, "I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight," you know. Like like with CJ so cool and royalty. And I know y'all like, why would you keep crossing them over? Because it's the same as that thing. Royalty won't let CJ see the kids, the twins, but eventually she did because he took her to court. But that's all uh, Rikana had to do is take Erica to court for his visitation right. But, he, he, you know, here we go again. He probably didn't want to deal with her. He did not have to deal with her. He had to deal with the baby. So if he really, really want to see his child, and like I said, I still blame Erica because she started the shenanigan. Trying to be petty and be messy. So, with that being said, he could have took amongst himself to say, Hey, you know what? I want to see my child. I want to be in my child's life. You know, even though she might not like my wife, but that's my child as well. She's going to have to deal with the fact that, hey, my wife lived with me. And my wife is not going to do any harm to my child. And I, and I, you know, I want to be in my child life. So obvious, he didn't want to be in that child life, or he didn't want to have to deal with Erica shenanigan going back and forth. I don't think Creole Bay had anything to do with it, any of that. Him not seeing his child. I'm just saying, you know, in my opinion, and this, this is my opinion. Okay, y'all have y'all's, and I have mine's. Okay, but I don't think that Creole Bay played a role. And crying, not seeing that little boy for a whole year. You know? 
you go back and watch one of her videos that I, you know, I spoke about. I reacted on it when her and Mucker was sitting in the car. They went and got some uh, Mexican food. And they were sitting in the car. And they were just, you know, just talking. This, that, and the third. You get what I'm saying? And he was holding uh, Mr. Cryer's son. You know? And Mr. Cryer wasn't in that baby's life like that. The Mucker guy was. So now here we go with her having the baby by the marker guy. Mr. Cryer was in the life of that little boy for a little short period of time. It wasn't full term. It was, you know, part-time, half-time, whatever. And Mr. Cryer don't went on with his life. He don't move into a bigger home, you know. He doing his little thing on Facebook and all that. You know, it's just different things he got going on. And and, and these men is not going to be tolerating and putting up with Erica B.S., with you can't see the kids and and uh, uh wanna fuss, you know. And it's not all Erica's fault. No, it's not. And she feeling some type of way that people, a lot of ladies coming out here saying it's her fault. It's certain things. Yes, certain thing is her fault. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Certain thing is Erica's fault. And I blame Erica for it. When it comes to visitation, okay? Let me put it like that. And then she even made the statement that Mr. Cryer was not coming by seeing the baby when he was small. You know, he didn't play his part as a father. But I'm going to get ready to get into this video. Um, and I'm going to be playing different clippings. And I'm going to pause and, you know, say my little two cents here and there, you know? So let's get ready to get into this video. I'm definitely not done. However, I feel like this video was necessary because um, I was definitely deceived by both of these men. And I know like a lot of women out here, especially when you have childhood trauma and things like that, um, like it's kind of hard to decipher between what's real and what's fake. And you know, like some of us actually live in a fairy tale. You know, and I think that I kind of did live in this fairy tale land or whatever. But I can honestly say, and I hope no none of the women in my family take offense to this, but all the women in my family have been with men and stayed with men that has just literally like dogged them out. So I've never seen a. So this is where it began. She said it herself: the women in her family was dogged out. That's all she know. When you're immune to something, you think it's okay, and you see it happen on a regular basis in your life with uh with within your family, you think it's okay, and 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 you feel like, hey, my family, the ladies in my family did it, why not? And a chain have to be broken, like Tamlin Mellon, uh, Mellon and Sam, Tamlin, y'all know what I'm talking about. You have to break that chain. But it's too late for her. And then again, it's not too late. But it's too late for her because she already don't have and she already got kids by these um three men. And they already don't drag her through the mud. Good I would say good view of what being in a healthy marriage looks like or being in a healthy relationship looks like i thought that relationships go through stuff now all relationships do go through stuff but it's not supposed to be as like toxic like the cussing disrespecting each other calling each other out each other names kicking people out your house like it's never supposed to be nothing like that and you dang sure not supposed to be sitting up here um linking up with nobody that don't like your your woman you know, so you, you, you know, your, your woman enemies, just because y'all have one thing in common, you mad at me for whatever reason. So now you finna go link up with my enemies. And okay, now, here we go again. Y'all heard what she said. For whatever reason, you mad with me. She know what the reason is, y'all. She knows what the reason is. 
She would not, when she had that baby, she would not allow that guy, Mr. Um, Marker, to come and see baby Marker. She shot all that down. She shot all the visitation. The, the man wanted a DNA. Even though, you guys, even though that little boy looked just like that man and his mother. And I said it in my other reaction video. That little boy looked so much like his father and his grandmother. And the grandmother knows this is her grandson. Because he looked just like her with that funny man head. You know? He looked just like her. But it's just the principle of how Erica went about it. Due to the fact that Marco was dating Creole Bay. Even though Creole Bay was dating Mr. Cryer, then she turned around and dated Rick Connor. Yes, that's gonna be Erica enemy. Of course that's gonna be Erica enemy. Because she don't went behind Erica twice. But the friendship thing, I want Creole Bay to come out here and is and, and break it down. This friendship thing that her and Erica supposed to have. I would love to just know. Were they friends? Or were they with just. Keyboard friends. Texting each other. They never did a girls trip. They never went out to eat. They never went shopping. You know. Those are the kind of friends you have. But. I'm thinking. Are they with just YouTube friends. Associates. I would love for Creole Bay to come out here, not with Ricana, just herself. Just herself and break it down, the friendship where Erica say that they was having. Or even with D, her and D supposed to have been friends. And D was dating Mr. Cryer. And, and, and Erica started dating the man after him and D broke up. But her and D was friends. So therefore, what she did to D, Creole Bay did it to her. Y'all know. Now y'all talking and swapping information about me. I don't ever want to be in another relationship like that. Ever. Men will do stuff in such a strategic way. Especially like if they older where they didn't been around and you know can run game on you and stuff like that. Like if they feel like you don't know. And I know a lot of times city men do try to get over on us country women. Because they know that we haven't seen a lot. Heard a lot. You know been around a lot. And... They try to run this smooth-ass game on us like we just slow. And it's not that we slow, it's just that we don't know. I remember this video that I done with the soccer head kid over there. And I remember a lot of people started making videos about it because they was like, why come um, you acting so desperate like you climbing in bed with this man and you're pretty much showing that you want to get it on with him, but... He's not showing it. Like, he's pushing you off of him and all this other stuff. I thought they was just, like, trolling or whatever. But everything just makes sense now. Because before I actually turn the camera on, because y'all know that those pranks over there that they're doing is staged. Them pranks over there that they're doing is staged was let you know that the pranks that me and him was doing was staged. And I would give him a pep talk on what to do and how to act and stuff like that. But whenever the camera came on, like, he would just kind of just do his own thing as if, like, you know. At first, just kind of started thinking, like, okay, well, maybe he's shy because he ain't really just been on camera like that before. Like, again, nobody knew who he was. So maybe he's just shy and don't want to express that side of things. So I... I didn't take it as the way that you guys were taking it, but you guys were actually right. Because by that time, we were already intimate with each other, so I didn't really see the need for him to act that way. But I also didn't think of it as a big deal because he had never, he just never been on camera before. Like, it was his first time being on camera. Also, when, you know, I came over to his house to hand him the pregnancy test, like, we already had a pep talk. And I still have these unedited videos, too. Yeah, you sure do, and so do I. So do I. I still have them too. Y'all got to turn my fan on. I may hear a little fast. I had to turn it on because I want to do my video, but I can't take the heat. I can't take the heat, and I got my little green lamp going. Y'all can't see it, though. But you know what? Matter of fact, I can turn it off because the way I'm doing my video, you won't even see it anywho. You won't even see me. You know, you'll see my little picture in the background. And I got my little fan, so y'all may hear my little fan going too. But anyway, so I, I, I'm listening to Eric, and I'm taking notes. When I say taking notes, I'm not writing anything down at that, you know. I, no, I'm not writing anything down. I'm taking notes in this little pea head of mine. She said that everything was staged. 
It was sat up. She prepped him. She prepped him, ladies and gentlemen, before the camera was turned on. Okay? Before the camera was turned on, she was prepping him. Now, let me say this here. And I'm, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. And who the people I support may get mad as far as Cryer, Erica, Mocha, uh, 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 Creole Bay, you know, because this is the topic. This is what I'm sticking on right now tonight. They may get mad at me if they see this video or whatever, but I'm going to just keep it 100. I don't have, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Nothing. Let me get to what I want to say. I want to say that part right. Mm, I guess y'all said, well, Brene, why don't you damn hurry up? I am. So, now, y'all heard when Erica said that she had to prep Rikana, Mucker, the Mucker Man. I'm sitting here thinking, in order for her to prep him, Mr. Cryer had to prep her. Because she already said she was a country girl and he was a city man. And country girls are slow. That's not true. We ain't going to take that. We ain't going to take that L. Erica can take that L. But us, we're not going to take that L saying we freaking slow. No, ma'am. Mm -mm, when it comes to men's. You can have some smartness and some knowledge about yourself just because you're from the country. No, ma'am. So, Erica, you can miss me on that one, baby girl. And I meant that from the bottom of my heart. But anyway, prepping. How to prep someone before the camera comes on. That's what my title going to be. Cryer had to prep her. But see, who prepped Cryer? You know, who prepped him before the camera came on? Voila, his son, the Prince family. Damien prepped Mr. Cryer how to do his channel. Okay, now after Mr. Cryer got the hang of it and knew the ends and the outs, the cons and the and the, and the um, pros on how to um, get out here and 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 sell a sell a story, sell a reaction. Okay, he learned from his son because his son told him this is what you do, this is how you title things to make people click it and 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 watch the video. So Cryer did Erica. Y'all look at the titles. When 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 he when you know when they do reaction channel, look at the titles. Look at my titles. You got to title it to make people click it and watch it. Erica did the same thing with Ricardo Marker. She prepped them. She taught him very well. Mr. Cryer taught Creole Bay. Then turn around, Marker came back and taught Creole Bay. That's the name of the game. They prep each other. They teach each other how to do things, how to title things. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. I have an SD card. That's the good thing about an SD card. Um, I have like boatloads of SD cards with old video footage. Old recordings. I don't throw anything away when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to filming or anything like that. So you guys will get a chance to see like everything was staged, and I did give him a pep talk or whatever. But he just kind of did his own thing. Like when I gave him the pregnancy test, you were supposed to have acted excited, but the camera comes on and you act like you upset. And like, yeah, I seen where he was upset. He sure did. He sure did. I watched the video. I watched the video. She went in the bathroom. She urinated, urinated on the stick. She came back. She gave it to him. It didn't turn out the way she thought it was going to turn out, y'all. That man looked down at it, frowned up his face, and shook his head and looked at her. She still was in, in, in character. But he wasn't in character. He flipped the strip and went a whole new different way on her ass. Because he thought that this was, and I'm going to say something else. He thought that this is what, it was a skit, in my opinion. He thought that they was doing a little skit. But I think that this is 
this was Erica way of telling him she was pregnant because she didn't know another way to tell him because he had mind control over her he, he, he led her to believe that he was in love with her he wanted to be with her for a long 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 time so with that being said by him misleading her the way he did because she let her tell it she's a country girl and she ain't know no better okay now she said it I didn't say it so this was her way of telling him giving him that pregnancy test hey I'm having your child she's smart too now don't get the game twisted and stuff like that but i didn't really think of that even as a big deal because i didn't think that that would like really catch the attention of everybody i just thought that okay well his acting skills is not the greatest anyway so it was very hard to determine what was what another red flag like with damien is the fact that, and I know y'all probably like, why are you saying his name? Okay, now she's done talking about Marker. She's done talking about Rikana. Now she's about to get on Mr. Crying. Okay. I mean, that's another, the other one. Well, I gotta say somebody's name because to be, I guess I can give him a nickname too. What are we gonna call him? We're gonna call him User. Well, no, because they were both users. They both wasn't about anything. They both was deceiving. Huh, what's a good name? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what would be a good nickname for him so I don't got to keep saying his name on my channel. But for now, we're going to say his name. That so why would she want her supporters to give Mr. Cryer uh, a, a name because she don't want to say his name on YouTube? But she going to say it for now. No, I don't think that's right. I think she need to come up with a, hit, with a name. You know? She want her supporters to come up with Miss, a nickname for Mr. Cryer. She could have said, Lion, Lion, your pants on fire. She could have came up with her own shit, you know, in my opinion, okay? I mean, will always side with my enemies. For whatever reason, whether, like, they right or wrong, like, he will always side with them. And he will do little things, like, because he sits at home all day long and watch T channels over and over and over and over. And what he does is he listens to what they say and then he turns back around and whenever I accidentally piss him off or let's say he, he you know, I'm not even going to say accidentally. Let's say I've done something to him to piss him off. Here he go piggybacking off of what they saying, which is why a lot of y'all think that I was caught in this man's bed with another man after he was trying to go to Indiana or something. That is absolutely false. And what did he do? Now, that's what I want to hear dick van dyke that's what i want to hear because like i said that white guy lawrence made a video saying erica was in mr cryer bed with a with another guy but this didn't make no sense to me y'all let me let me break this down to you this didn't make sense to me and the reason why i say that is because if mr cryer was in indiana and Erica was at his place and he got cameras around his house. He even had a camera in his garage. Why would Mr. Cryer sit there? Excuse me. Why would Mr. Cryer sit there and say the neighbor's camera caught the man at his house? Now, Cryer got cameras in the garage and he got cameras in the house. Why in the MF? The cameras didn't pick up this man in his house on his phone. Because the sensors are going to go off and, and they're going to notify him that, hey, somebody just walked in the house or some kind of movement going on. You know what? Yeah. Mm hmm It didn't make sense when, when, when um, it was said out here in the YouTube streets. He turns around and do a video to piggyback off of that. And what happens is a lot of times, I know y'all be wanting me to be quiet and stuff like that. But do you not see what happens when I'm quiet? No, baby, I don't want you to be quiet. I want you to keep on talking. Keep telling your story because I can react on it. And I can also get paid because I need to buy some groceries. Can y'all cash out me a little piece of corn so I can go buy me some groceries? I'm just saying. I'll drop my cash out in here. All these narratives.
narratives just keep floating around, spreading or whatever, and it lets people create their own narrative. And if I don't say, no, that's not true or that's false, then you guys are just run with, with whatever. I was not talking to Damien while I was talking to the soccer head boy. I did not get caught with another man in his house while he was out of town. I've never been left at this man house. And I'm not no disrespectful person like that. I've never cheated on that dude not one time. So over there in his video, he wants to try to mix dates and rearrange times and stuff like that. If that dude would have never came out with that stuff, Damien would have still been doing exactly what he's doing. So he's using that as an excuse to not be there now for his child. What other lie? Like... Saying that he didn't allow me and the kids to move in with him, he told me a week. That's a lie. Like, look at everything else regarding this situation. Like, I don't really feel the need to go all the way back. That's what he does to try to deflect and get people to try to, oh, well, she did lie about this, lie about that. Like, whatever, okay? The point is, he said that I didn't know where he lived. I showed proof of that. He said that nobody would have his address. I showed proof of that. He made y'all think that we haven't been together in over a year. I have proof of that. I can show you proof of that. Like, regarding this situation right here. Well, we know. She said, I can show proof of that. We know she's going to do that. We know she's going to show proof. Because like she said, her, she has so many memory cards. You know, with, with, the, with the video, auto, and all that, you know. And she saved all of it just to have proof on her men's, on her baby daddies. And Lawrence said that she's good about doing a lot of recording. And I don't see anything wrong with it. It's called protect your own ask. Protect your own ask. Okay? I'm going to let this video play while I go grab me some snack on y'all. Here. He's a bold-faced lie. Y'all, I am so sorry. I just noticed that my lens was not clean, so I had to turn the camera off and clean the lens. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Damien is cool with all of my enemies. The soccer head kid is cool with all of my enemies. And y'all have one thing in common, and that's me. So y'all then place me. Okay. She said enemies. She put an S on it, right? That mean more than one. Who are these enemies? that Mr. Cryer is friend with. Who are these enemies that the marker guy is friend with? Is I mean, is she just saying one person, what, what plural or whatever? She precisely, specifically talking about Creole Bay as the enemy? Who is the enemies? In Lions Den. And it's just me and everybody done grouped together to go at me. Like, that's weird. Like, Damien's still right today talking to old mentors of mine that was fake. And I had to cut them off. And you receiving emails from them and DMs and stuff like that. And then you coming back telling me because you're trying to play both sides. Like, it's giving weird. Like, I'm telling you, if you're an enemy of mine and you want to get Damien's attention, all you got to do is go over there and, and DM him. He's going to respond back. I promise you. Anybody that he can get to go against me, like, that's what he does. Even the other soccer head kid over there. Mm -hmm. Like, you... You linking up with people that I laid down in a bed with you pillow talking about how they was doing this and acting fake and now y'all just the best of friends. Like, everybody is just fake. And this whole time it's been me by myself and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I've been by myself this whole time I've been on this platform. I'ma be by myself throughout what I'm doing, what I'm doing now. I don't expect for nobody to have my back. I got my own back. I've been having my own back. It's just me and my kids, and we all we got. It's us against the world. Anytime my numbers and stuff, my views is up, and it seems like everybody is, like, majority on my side, oh, here he comes smiling in my face. Oh, wow. Here come Damien smiling in my face, trying to get some of the shine, too. But then as soon as everything go back down and everybody start talking against me and stuff like that, yeah, he'll see me doing good, and then guess what? He got to find a way to mess it up. By throwing a little shade over there in his videos, throwing subliminals. Like, and what I really hate the most is Damien pushed me over the edge.
Okay, I'm going to end this video. You guys, it'll be part two, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit like, comment, and the notification bell so you'll know when I'm posting the video. Y'all have a good one, okay? I'm out of here. Please drop your comments and tell me what you think about this um, video or the situation that's going on with this young lady. You know, being in her 30s, I guess, and, you know, with her fourth child. And also... And I also have to deal with the fact that she's doing this kind of on her own, but not so much on her own. Y'all feel where I'm coming from? And right now she's living with family. She, you know, she's not homeless, but she's staying with family. You know, about to get ready to have that fourth child. So, I just don't know what to say about this. I don't know. But make sure to drop your um, comments. I really, really appreciate it. Unless... See, can we figure this out together? Your um, comment is very, very important to me. And again, yes, your comment is very important to me. I would really, really like to know how y'all feel about this. If you a mother and you went through something like this here, let me know because I need to tell y'all my story as well.